Hello Nation. Today we're going to talk about diabetes and the heart. Now I hate to get so morbid in the beginning of this message to you, but the most common cause of death for everybody in this country, diabetes or not, is heart disease. But it's especially true for people with type 1 and type 2 diabetes. What is heart disease? Many conditions fall under the general category. First one is heart attack. Us doctors call it myocardial infarction. Stroke, which is basically a heart attack of the brain. Not enough blood gets up there, part of the brain tissue dies, and you're left with some pretty serious deficits. Congestive heart failure. Your heart is so weak, it cannot pump blood appropriately, and fluid accumulates in your body, especially your lungs, then you can't breathe. For those of you that have had congestive heart failure, you know what that is. And then a condition called peripheral arterial disease, or PAD. And that's when not enough blood gets to the tissues in the extremities, especially the lower extremities. It's one of the reasons why people with diabetes have a higher rate of amputations. Now, what is the cause of heart disease? Well, it, there's a cluster of what we call cardiovascular risk factors elevated blood pressure, not under control, abnormal cholesterol levels. The blood itself has a higher tendency to clot. These three abnormalities occur at a greater rate in people with diabetes. And so the bottom line is that these abnormalities are treatable. First thing is level of awareness. All of these abnormalities, blood pressure, cholesterol, clotting issues, there's no symptoms. And that's why heart disease is a asymptomatic condition. So you've got to have a discussion with your caregiver and say, hey, I got diabetes. I know I may be at greater risk for heart disease. Could we talk about are all my risk factors under control? Then you look at lifestyle. You know, exercise, 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 walking, running, biking, Anything you can do to increase your heart rate, get your muscles going, getting the blood flow to the extremities. That is so important. Then there's, of course, eating healthy, trying to maintain your ideal body weight. That's tough, I know. Easier said than done. And then there are medications. Please don't be afraid of medications. You know, they keep you alive. Medications to control your blood pressure, to make sure the goals, you're in goal. Medications to get your cholesterol to go. And if you're a candidate for aspirin or a different blood thinner, that might be very helpful too. But all of these, you know, obviously need a conversation with your caregiver. Now, lastly, this is something that's new. Everything I've told you has been around since the beginning of time. So I, I, I hope this is not the first time you're hearing this, but this part is new. There are medications that are approved for the treatment of diabetes that have also been proven to protect your heart this is fairly recent, and so now we can not only improve our A1Cs and our glucose control, but we can reduce our chances for heart attack, stroke, or passing away from heart disease with, with these same medications. So remember, when treating diabetes, think of the heart. So long, nation.